Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Thursday here in the Middle East, which is actually a Friday in the West. This is the last day of the week. Tomorrow is uh, Friday and Saturday, or holiday, or the weekend here. So it's weird, still getting used to this. Obviously, I work Fridays anyway, at least in my... Uh, manage my trades on Fridays, which are usually fun days to trade, but today looks like it's going to be a fun day as well. See the S&P's got smushed, um, and now they're through the trend line in Asia here. Trend line comes in at 09, so you can sell uh, any rally up towards 38, 3800 to 3810. Um, remain core short looks to be the way. Um, Let's see how this thing goes. Dollars are, um, we talked about it yesterday, a bit of a botch. You know, we had the 88.5 bids in, we canceled them, we put 78.5 bids in. We ended up paying 93, so it didn't, you know, it's 500 points between friends. Um, but the reason I bring this chart up, same uh, type of trend line, which we have not broken yet, so 15, 14. Um, is your downtrend line in dollar czar. You can imagine what I'm going to do with dollar China. We talked about this yesterday. This is really the bingo number of global meltdown, 651. This high here is just for sanity's sake, 651.50. This high here is 650.80. I guess uh, if you... Um, if you like doing these kind of things, connect the dots or play with watercolors or that kind of stuff, you would do this. This would be maybe something to keep in mind. You might even draw it. Like, how do you put your artist cap on? Or how do you capture this recent trend? That line doesn't really strike me as interesting, but I think 651 is the number. Uh, that's just what I think, and that's where you have to start, right? Find out what you think, write down a plan, and then execute the plan. Uh, same game, 30 fucking years. Find out what you think, write down a plan, execute a plan. Anyway, uh, currencies aren't doing too, too much here. You can see uh, Euro, it's, it's like stuck in the middle cable no fucking idea what it wants to do dollar yen did take a peak above uh, one 107 um, what did we get to 08 10708 yesterday oh no 10715 nobody trades dollar yen anymore really I don't think um, been trending up nicely because of these rates and I guess also BOJ trying to control um, interest rates I don't see any I have no interest in dollar yen so fuck it uh, this is more interesting to me obviously because this is where my home is uh, dollar Swiss we get a little bit of a lift off point here um, 9207 the November highs 92 the figure uh, yesterday's highs Usually this will this will dilly dally around, right? So we're gonna print ten, go back to the figure, print eleven, go back to oh six. Never really clean or rarely clean. This was a clean one. You guys all remember this one, eighty nine twenty five. Man, that was juicy. Um, so let's just see. Let's see how this goes. It's not really a proper break trade, but it is a momentum trade. Uh, on an hourly close above 92.10, you're, you're looking good, Billy Ray. Um, Kiwi Yen, here's another one of those trend lines, risk on, risk off lines. We're going to, we like this chart, and we're going to sell um, through 77 cents, 77 yen, still uh, three quarters of a percent away. Why Kiwi Yen is not lower is, is beyond me. I know the central banker was talking last night. I didn't even bother to look what he said because there's no point in even listening to any of these people anymore. But why Kiwi Yen isn't lower? Someone, um, someone tell me in the comments if you're a Kiwi 
or if you live in Tokyo, or if you're like me, you just like to trade Kiwi in. Anyway, Dollar Cad still, uh, you know, you can see it's just fucking castrated the vol in um, in FX. Just dickless, macheted right off. Unbelievable. How is it that the S and P's are down 120 handles and and Kiwi Yen has moved 0.01 percent? Dollar Max. Well, I guess Dollar Max is higher. And I don't know. Like you know, let, let's put it this way: Spoo's are down 30. Spoo's are down a percent in Asia, and FX is just uh, you know playing tiddlywinks. Anyway, uh, what else are we looking at? Uh, Bitcoin, not really doing much here, middle of the range. Um, no real interest in this. Ethereum, uh, you want to... This is our sort of go-to Ethereum, and we talked about some of the Stellar protocol, um, which is a little bit riskier. Ethereum is much less riskier. Um, just try and pick this shit up, I guess. I don't know, 1,500, uh, 1,300, 1,100. Ethereum is not going away. Ethereum is the Google of um, of cryptocurrency. Um, and if you think Google's going away, you're a ludite. And that's pretty cool, but fucking stupid. I don't really have much else to say here. Actually, um, obviously we're risk off, so you want to you want to sell some spoos up near thirty eight hundred, thirty eight ten. Um, we're waiting to see if dollar china is going to attack the 651 it's still three quarters percent away the dollars are trend line is at 1514 kiwi yen 77 the figure none of this stuff is close just because of the castration syndrome in fx so be patient uh, hopefully your core short on the risk off and if you are feel free to trade it right because there's good vol here both sides you know you're gonna get 50 point 50 handle bounces this isn't gonna go down in a straight line so um, try and make the intraday volatility your friend uh, without making it turn you insane what without making without going insane watching it if you know what I mean so it's better to kind of just watch it from a distance or at least that's what I do anyway uh, I'm cutting this off. I wish you guys good luck, a good day trading, going back um, to start my real job now, and I will see you tomorrow, even though it's weekend here. Have a good one, people. Ciao.